Hey guys, this is Grace from the Basketball. We got our Kimu haul. And look, it was open and it wasn't by me. I just love how these packages come this way, guys. The mighty one having issues. So right now we're going to go through it and hopefully nothing was taken or fell out in the process because I wasn't here to say yes or no to the package. All right, so one of our Papa hats came in. You know what? Really good. Um, material I'm excited we are going to make this of course into a basket because that's the business we're in making baskets um let's see I don't know what this is that's the thing you order stuff and it takes so long to get here you kind of forget what you got um oh yes I got one of these like um portable camp Fires. I thought I was going to do it like a, a um, tent basket, like a camping basket for the dad. So this is kind of like a travel, you could call it a emergency campfire, but you know, it's kind of cool. So came in a nice little case. It's pretty. I like the color actually, which is not the color. It, it is just the um, stuff to keep it from getting scratched. Hello. So we got some of this. This is the stuff that we wrap around bouquets. It's kind of like that sheer organza that has the pearls on it. So yes, you're going to wrap this around a bouquet and hopefully this is enough to wrap around two bouquets because it wasn't that cheap. But, you know, as we get into learning to do these and all the types of bouquets that you can do, that's really cool. All right, another hat. I do like the packaging with the little bags. It kind of gives a little comfort. This dad, I like the color. They feel really good. I know a lot of people like fitted hats, but I like breathable hats more than I like a fitted hat. All right, so we got some Bobo balloons that already basically have stuff written on them. So that's kind of cool. So let me know, like, is anybody having issues with their Timu stuff coming open? Um, or just taking really long? Okay, so I am mistaken. These are not the Bobo. These are the little um, things for flowers. But all you're actually doing, you don't, put, you don't have to put flowers. You're just putting a balloon flower in it. So it's kind of a cool way to jazz up. A gift I really fell in love with these I think they're so cute but you know when somebody wants to give something sweet and different so these all go in the little envelopes and I mean that is an easy thing to add um, more sales to your basket tents and sales so I have to make sure we put everything back as we're going through this so another blue one and it's funny because you think they all come from the same person you know and yet this one is in a clear bag without the zip i love it i should have ordered more but i think it only got three hats you know me i like to do three of everything here's the foil paper it's supposed to be 20 pieces but i'm gonna tell you that doesn't feel like 20 pieces but maybe Oh, and I got these cute little bags. I love them. They have a little Bible scripture on them. And they're little coats. And let's see. I love these. Let all that you do be done in love. Corinthians 1, 16, 14. So let's see. They're wide enough. Oh, that's wide. So yeah, they're pretty good. You can put a nice little thing, especially if you do like your um, Sunday groups and stuff like that. Alright, so I was not sure how big these were going to be. Everything always says da 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 the sizes. Well, I never find the sizes. I mean, this thing is like a little keychain. It never mentioned that they were keychains. It just said um, bears and I could for it said 9 inches. So if y'all have any tips on how to actually understand the sizing, 
That would be fantastic. Yeah. So, but that's okay. I can do something with them. Maybe not what I wanted to do with them. But sometimes things move and you have to go with them. All right. Now, this is a glue gun that I got. I have glue guns. But I might have messed up with this. But this is a chargeable. So, that's why I got it. So, that if I need to take this in my car, I can just put this in my ashtray. Because I really want to start to be able to um, make on the go. Like, sometimes when you're there and you're sitting there and you're stuck at your tent and you want to make another 30 baskets but you're there all day and you just can't do it. You just can't make that when you don't have um, electricity. I don't have, like, the U-Hauls. And I know some people are renting U-Hauls, but I don't even know if the U-Hauls that they rent have plugs in them. I think some do. Electricity. And I have a van. And where I set up does have power to it. I don't want them charging any more <laughs> cost for me to set up. So, okay, so this is just regular tissue paper that we got. So it's a little thicker than what you get at like, the Dollar Tree or whatnot. So I must have really went crazy with these balloons. But that's okay. And these are um, the thermal paper. I wanted to try to do a thermal printer, but I haven't bought the printer yet. And then, okay, so I was excited. My beard grooming set, I ordered, I think, three or maybe five. Three five a day. And um, it comes with a comb and some cream and some trimmers. So, we're excited about that. And yes, we did get five of them. I got some happy birthday toppers. And then these are the um, the Bobo balloons. They're the small ones that have butterflies on them. So the reason why I got those is I still have not learned how to use my Craig I can turn it on. I can put stuff, but, but like the <laughs> the haul when I get the wrong size um, stuffies, when I use the Cricut, I get the wrong size every time. And it's like, it's not the... Vinyl's not cheap, and I know people say practice on construction paper, practice this and that, but so we got some Mother's Day balloons. We have them in Spanish, which is great, and of course we have them in Mom, so this is nice because they don't say Happy Mother's Day. They just say, I love you, Mom, and all year long, we really do say we like our moms, you know? So I, I got those. Whoops. So I got two sets of those. And let's see. I got these little straps. And they're supposed to be for like balloon backdrops and stuff like that or like whatever. But what I got them for was actually to help me stretch my shades on my tent. So now you can like... Um, Clip it and then take the Velcro and wrap it around the pole. So that was one of the reasons I got that. And if I do try or teach myself how to get more into the balloon stuff, then I have them. But I like them because I just wanted to be able to keep. I've done the um, clothespins, and the thing about the clothespins is if the wind is whipping really hard, they just break. They didn't used to. I used to use clothespins all the time, but you know and I know the quality of products are just dwindling. There's like no accountability that you buy stuff and it lasts more than maybe two or three uses. And I mean, you can't really afford that in the long run, correct? So let me put this down. was a pretty decent box. So I got these little boxes. <clears throat> I think I would have rather have gotten all clear, but you know. So this is the clear box and it's about as big as my hand, but these are good to put like little small sets. So if you have Bath and Body Works and they have the travel size or any kind of travel things or 
Again, this small little teddy bear will be perfect in here with a cute little border. Um, and then I got some of these. I was kind of excited about these. So these are the, um, another clear boxes with the handles. And I yet to get my heart ones. I ordered the heart ones, but these are really good to me where it has the open slits and you can put flowers in them. So, that's it. I think we might finally be done. Maybe. Oh, I got two of those hats, so that's my fifth hat that you saw. Okay, so we got another Bobo balloon, and I think it says happy birthday. I just like them because you can put a bunch of little balloons inside of them. You can put nothing, or you can put one balloon inside of it, and it gives it like that depth. But it's a nice thing when you're doing the balloon. Okay, so these are the little boxes that I, the black boxes that I got. That is basically a flat concept. So they're actually, I can feel them. The way they feel, I thought that each box would have felt this way. So they're pretty thin. Let me see. I'm gonna open them up. Oh uh, yeah, so they're pretty thin. Completely. So yeah. But so it's not quite a box, it's more like an envelope box. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to have to watch the video on how to assemble these because I do not, and I don't want to tear them, but they do come with a pretty black ribbon. So that's where we go with that. And we are officially done with our Timu haul. I actually got this, and I opened this earlier. I got this from Harbor Freight, but this is a um, power plug for your car. Again, I told you I want to start making baskets. So this will do a heat gun. It'll do a glue gun. It'll do a balloon. So if you want to do um, the electric pumps. But basically, if you can get really good and fast, because you want to be able to make baskets when people say, hey, I want to make a basket, or can I bring you the stuff to make a basket? Sure. I'm not good at making things under pressure, but that's something I'm going to have to learn because... We want to grow, grow, grow. We've been doing this for a long time. We've grown our audience, but as we've grown our audience, we are now starting to have more people do what we're doing. So we have to offer, you always have to stay like ahead of your game or up your game, not ahead of your game, but ahead of your competition and get along with your new customers and clients. So in conclusion, that is what we got from our Timu haul and of course Harbor Freight that thing. So if you have any questions or answers, I would love some answers like how to figure out the sizing because it just seems to be my thing that keeps messing me up. It's not that I can't utilize what I get, but it's not what I wanted it for. So help. If you've got answers, send it my way. Thanks for watching Basketeers. I hope you are having a wonderful week and Father's Day is still plenty of time away to just make your baskets and figure out the numbers you want. But I've got another video I want you to stay tuned for because maybe this will be very helpful in helping you figure out how to build your business a little bit better if you're going to do street sales. Because I'm a street sale girl. I get out there on the streets and I do it. And yes, I would love to have a store front but I just really want to store a window. I don't want the whole business part. I just want to be able to put my stuff in the window, have it say featured by the basket bar, contact Grace, and you know, that way the person who has a business has their business inside and then I'm just making their window look pretty. And then it's a, it's a win for them and a win for me because I have room in my house to make my stuff. So I don't really need to, I guess, set up a whole shop when I do much better, believe me when people can come by you in the holidays. Thanks guys, stay tuned for the next video. Please like and subscribe, share, leave a comment. It helps with the algorithm. 
good or bad, we all need feedback. Thanks.